Hello, math makers. Thanks for showing up. This is going to be our final lesson on money. This is lesson number six. Um, we're still identifying and counting money, except this time we're doing word problems with dollar bills. In part five, we worked on um, just adding up different dollar bill amounts. We're going to do a lot of that today, but we're going to figure out what to either add or subtract um, using um, our cubes method. And in case you have forgotten our cubes method, um, we this is the process we use to figure out um, the answer to a word problem. So we have C, which means circle the numbers. And if you know it with me, feel free to read it with me. U is underline the question. B, box the keywords. E, eliminate extra information. S, solve, label, and check your work. All right, so we'll need to remember those today. I will have it in all of our problems, so you'll be able to see it for a reminder. Let's remember these are the bills that we might be working with today. Um, we have our, and we actually have a 50 that I did not include that I know I'm going to use today, but these are some of the ones that we have. One hundred, five, ten dollar bill, twenty dollar bill, one hundred dollar bill. We put the number in front of the decimal point. We always use our dollar sign. And of course, with all dollar bills, they have the numbers in the corners, which tell us how much that dollar bill is worth. And that makes it super easy. Now, because we're doing word problems. <clears throat> Um, there are some addition and subtraction terms. I want to review. We go over these every time, I know, but I just want to really want to make sure you know them. If we're doing an addition problem, we're going to have two different numbers we're adding, and both of them are called add-ins. The answer to an addition problem is usually called a sum. Sometimes you'll see it called a total. Usually it's a sum, though. And the whole problem is called an equation. And when we're doing word problems, um, we look for keywords, and those keywords are clues. They're telling us, do I add, do I subtract? And those keywords are there for you on that. Read these with me. These are all keywords that you might see that mean add. In all, all, all together, together, sum, total, total number, increased by, plus, combined, added to. If you see any of those in the problem, it usually means to add. Now, I do, I always tell you, these are not the only words they use to mean add. These are just the ones we see the most frequently. So I want to make sure you know them. If we're subtracting, our terms change. We have still could have three digits. We have our menu end, our subtrahend, which is the number we're subtracting, and the answer is called a difference because it's the difference between these two numbers. Just like with addition, the whole problem is called an equation. Again, because we're doing word problems, these are some of the keywords you might see in a word problem. Read these with me. Difference, less than, take away, minus, fewer, left over, or have left, remain, minus, how many more? So those are all um, terms. If you, use, if you see them in a problem, it usually means to subtract. Again, there are others that they might use, but these are the ones we see the most. Now, are you ready to get started? We're going to practice three together, and then we're going to be done. Our first question today, read this with me if you want. Eduardo opened his piggy bank. He had three $10 bills, one $5 bill, and two, dollar, two $1 bills. He gave Miracle $16. How much does Eduardo have left? This is a two-step problem. Um, so the first thing we need to do, of course, is we're going to circle the numbers. Do you see the numbers? What are they? And actually, it looks like I left one out right here on the 16. I should have circled that, too. Um, I should do that. Let me go ahead and do that right now to make sure we have it right. So these are the things that we need. 
And um, step number two, after we have um, circle the numbers is what? You means underline the question. And what is the question? How much money does Eduardo have left? And we know that we look for that question mark and then we go back to the beginning of the sentence. And that's how we do that. After we underline the sentence, what's next? Box the keywords, that's right. And when we box the keywords, we're looking for that secret word that tells us what we should do. Do you see the keyword? What is it? Have left is correct. We see have left right here. That, and of course, if you remember correctly, when you see have left, we see it right here. That means we subtract. All right, so after we box the keywords, we're going to eliminate any extra information. Do you see any extra information in this question? We figured out in class today that if you see a sentence with nothing circled or boxed or underlined, that's probably extra information. We probably don't need it. So you probably see that our extra information is up here. Eduardo opened his piggy bank. We don't need to know that to, to uh, solve the question. So that would be extra information. Now it is time to solve and check our work, or solve and label our work. So we know in the question that Eduardo had three $10 bills, <clears throat> one $5 bill, and two $1 bills. We need to know how much Eduardo has before we can uh, give Miracle some money. So we're going to figure those out. We know that three $10 bills would be 10, three times, 10 plus 10 plus 10. That's counting by tens, 10, 20, 30. We have $30 there. Then we have one $5 bill. So one $5 bill is only worth $5. So we have a five. And then next, we have two $1 bills. So that's just adding one plus one, and one plus one equals two. Now, in our last video, we learned how to add multiple, like two questions at a time, more than one number. So we're just going to add these numbers together. So 30 plus 5 would be 35 plus two more, 36, 37. So we know that he has $37. Now, the question was, after he gives Miracle that $16, how much does he have left? So there's two parts to this question. First, we have to know how much Eduardo had in his piggy bank. Next, we need to know how much he has after he gave Miracle. This. So if you get a question like this, you actually have to add and then subtract just to be able to solve it. So just know that sometimes you have to do that. So we're going to break apart 16, just like we always do. We use break apart method. We break apart 16. We have a 10 and a 6, just one 10. We're going to subtract that first 10 first. So 37 minus 10, that's one 10, that's one jump. If you're on a hundreds chart, that's one step up. And what would that be? 37 minus 10, 27. So we've subtracted our 10. Now we're going to subtract our six and we can just count backwards six times. From 27, we have 26, 25, 24, 21. So we know that 37 minus 16 is 21. Now it's time to label our work. And the question was, how much does Eduardo have left? And our answer would be, Eduardo has $21 left. That was a lot of work on that one, but sometimes you have to do all that extra work. Let's do another one. Tinsley had a birthday party. At her party, Mia gave her three $5 bills. Annalie gave her two $10 bills, and Jamila gave her one $20 bill. How much money did Tinsley get at her birthday party altogether? First step, of course, is circle the numbers. What are the numbers? Three $5 bills, two $10 bills, and one $20 bill. Next is U, and what does U stand for? 
underline the question. Do you see the question? What is it? How much money did Tinsley get at her birthday party altogether? Next we have B. B stands for box the keywords. What are the keywords in this one? Altogether. And we know from our chart, if we look for the word all together, we know that it goes with addition. So we're going to be adding all these numbers together. We know that. Is there any extra information in this question? Again, look for that sentence with nothing circled or underlined or boxed. And we see that very first sentence, Tinsley had a birthday party. While it's wonderful she had one, and I'm glad she did, it doesn't help us solve the question. So last, we're going to solve, label, and check our work. Again, we have some money amounts. We can't figure out how much she has until we know how much all the money's worth. Three had three $5 bills, two $10 bills, and one $20 bills. One $20 bill. So we have three $5 bills. That's counting by fives three times. So we count five, 10, 15. We have two $10 bills. That's just adding 10. 10 plus 10 is 20. That's right. And then we have one $20 bill, and if you just have one, it's only worth $20. Okay, now we have our numbers that we're going to be adding. We're adding our 20, a 20, and a 15. So we're going to go step by step again. I'm going to add these two 20s first. Now we learned e earlier, if you have 20 plus 20, it, there's something if you know. If you know that 2 plus 2 is 4, then 20 plus 20 is 40 because you're dealing with tens now. So is that tens place? So we've added our two 20s. Next, we're going to add 40 plus 15. Now, 40 plus 15 has got a ones and a tens. So we're going to break apart that 15. And if I break apart 15, what do I get? A 10 and a 5. So we're going to add that 10 first. So instead of doing 40 plus 15, we're going to go with 40 plus 10. That's just one more 10. 40 plus 10 is? 50, that's right. And then we're going to add our 5. So we're going to add 50 plus 5. And what is 50 plus 5? 51. 55. So we know that 20 plus 20 plus 15 is 55, which means that Tinsley got $55 at her birthday party. What a great birthday. All right, last one. This one's going to be faster, I promise. J-Lo wanted to buy a bike from her friend. She gave Edgar $50 and had $26 left over in change. How much did J-Lo spend on the bike? So again, first step is C, circle the numbers. What are the numbers? 50 and 26. Next is U. What does U stand for? Underline the question. What is the question? How much did JLo spend on the bike? Next, we're going to box the keywords. What is the keyword in this one? It's not in the question this time because it's not always. It's left over. And we know from our list, do you see left over anywhere? I do, and left over is subtraction. So now we know we're going to be subtracting these two numbers. Next, we're going to eliminate any extra information. Again, do you see any sentences that don't have anything labeled in it? It's the very first one again. JLo wanted to buy a bike from her friend. Last, we're going to solve, label, and check your work. We know that she had 50 and she had 26 left over. So how much did she spend? We have to subtract 50 minus 26. We're going to break apart 26 like we always do. If I break apart 26, what are my two numbers? 20 and 6, because it's 26. Um, we're going to subtract our 20 first. 50 minus 20, that's two tens. So that's going to be two jumps up on a hundreds chart. So it'd be 40, be 30, that's right. And then we're going to subtract our 6. 30 minus 6, we're counting backwards six times. Be 29, 28, 27. What would it be? 
24. That's right. So 50 minus 26 is 24. So we know that JLo spent $24 on the bike. It's getting a little bit easier. It's easier when they give us the numbers, I know, but they don't always. That's why we practice it both ways. Guys, you're getting better all the time. It's great to see. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.